Okay, this one's about the limit switches, which are right there and right there. Pretty soon these elements are going to come on, and as they come on, they're going to overheat. I'll show you your amp draw there, uh, because there's no fan, there's a lot of radiant heat coming right back there on that limit switch. And you'll see it pop. There it goes. Pop right there. Okay, now you can see the element. It's cooling down. Now the other one should come on. It's on right now. And here's a little slow-mo. You can watch those uh, discs, discs pop over. And if you look, you can see that other element shutting off too. That's a safety that shuts these things down. I'll show you what they look like. Uh, when you're looking at the controls. Okay, here's what the limits look from this side. And what I wanted to show you there is at the bottom, uh, there's three sets of numbers on there. Uh, the middle one is a carrier number. This is a carrier uh, heat strip. The bottom says L145. What it means is 145 degrees that limit is going to kick off. Now one of the things that's common for uh, for these uh, furnaces is these limits will fail. Uh, let's say somebody does not change your filter, uh, some other reason there's low airflow, these will start shutting off. But you know these are uh, automatic reset. So they're just going to reset, start again, overheat, shut off, overheat, shut off. Well, there's a little switch inside here. That switch is not a real tough switch. It's not made to constantly be going off and on. And eventually it's going to fail. Now sometimes they'll fail. You'll notice right in here will be a bubble. And it's from the overheat of the switch because the switch didn't make properly and it'll get hot inside there. Sometimes they'll stick closed. Uh, most of the time they stick open but sometimes they'll uh, they'll stick closed and closed could be bad. Uh, this particular unit it's a little bit odd on this one. Carrier did this and I don't, I'm not sure why but there's usually a fuse. It may be mounted like right here in series and it's a high temperature fuse and it blows and shuts it off. This one does not have it. Now it can be mounted here and very commonly you'll see them inside here. They'll be mounted right here and there will be another little uh, insulated mount up here. Uh, but this one doesn't have it. So, uh, I guess they just assume the elements are going to burn out. Uh, they get pretty hot before they burn out. But uh, That's the limit switches on the electric furnaces and how they shut it down. Uh, occasionally they'll be manual reset, but I very, very seldom see that anymore. Uh, usually a fuse on the line or something, but these don't have anything.